It is possible to analyze humor, uh, despite what you might think. You know, it's very ethereal and hard to pin down. But uh, yes, you can look at the history of humor. You can look at what makes different cultures laugh. You can look at what makes females laugh and what makes males laugh. And you can put things on their brains so that you can actually see what's happening in the brain when someone laughs. We measured humor a lot of different ways. We... Uh, uh, we told jokes to people. I actually signed up as a stand-up comedian and told jokes in India, told jokes in China, told jokes in Indonesia. Uh, that's one way. Uh, we looked at the history of different jokes. We looked at jokes which were banned and which came back. And we looked also at the, uh, the chemical processes that happen in your head uh, when, people, when you laugh. So one, one thing we found that was very worrying is that uh, Easterners were considered to have very poor senses of humour. Uh, some surveys showed that uh, both Western, Westerners thought they had a better sense of humour than Easterners, and Easterners agreed. Uh, so it was interesting to dig down and find that, in fact, uh, there's very similar senses of humour. So, for example, we found uh, Monty Python-type jokes in ancient Asian humour, uh, some, of, some of which were very recognisable as, uh, as Monty Python style. Yet Monty Python is considered a very Western phenomenon. Yes, people think of jokes as, uh, as sort of, you know, set up punchline. But in fact, today, most jokes are situational. People tell a story about their lives, you know. One day I woke up, uh, I said to my wife, they tell a story, and at the end of the story there's some little emotional jump or discomfort or surprise that makes a little jumping in your head that makes you laugh. So, uh, so definitely uh, the, uh, the story is at the heart of humour. I was researching humour, and the research process was uh, as, as interesting as the results. So, so I wrote a book about telling jokes and getting humour published in different countries in Asia, and my experiences, some of which were not very happy, and some of which were, were, were very joyful.